When your professor assigns you a paper with a lot of citations and when you have to go do that bibliography and cite all of your citations, it can be a little bit challenging. However, there's a great online tool called Zotero that makes academic papers easier. Zotero is a free, easy to use tool that helps you collect all of your citations, all of your resources that you use to write a paper, organize them, cite them when you're writing your paper to build that kind of credibility that your professors are looking for, and also to share those research resources with other people. And it lives right in the place where you do the majority of your research inside of your web browser. And so the first step in order for you to use Zotero is going to be to download it. It's going to be an add-in to your web browser, although they do have a standalone product I haven't used yet, but mine lives inside of my Firefox web browser. And whenever I have Firefox open, it's just living there and accessible in the lower right-hand corner. And so let's look first at how we collect information. Let's assume that you are on Amazon or maybe you've checked out from the library one of the books that our faculty members have written managing the Millennials and you'll notice up at the very top of the, the web browser is a little icon of a book and that means that Zotero is able to quickly gather all the information from that book and place it inside of your library and so I click on that that little book and it tells me that it's saving that item to my Zotero and then when I go to click on Zotero it's located there within my library and you can see that I have other items that I've collected along the way some items we're able to easily save when they show up in the browser and other times we have to add them and you can see the little add button up here we have to add them ourselves but it's still great to have all of our sources in one place and so let's look at how we organize them when I go to Zotero you can see that I can have different folders that I set up there and all kinds of ways of organizing It's very similar to how you might organize your music within iTunes we can create folders and move sources around and as I mentioned add sources manually that may not be accessible within our web browser to easily do that through the one click storage like I showed you a moment ago wait until you see how citations work it's amazing how easy it is I can cr uh, install an add-in inside of Microsoft Word and it's always just waiting there for me when I go to cite a source. Here I am inside of Microsoft Word and you can see that I've already cited a couple of sources here and remember what kind of credibility that brings to your academic writing and so as I'm going along let's say that I just wrote about how important it is to know who our target market is and now I'm going to cite my textbook so I'm going to go to the add-ins and I'm going to click the little citation and the textbook I'm looking for is the BUSN and so I'm just going to come down here and let me actually move this up so you can see it and click OK and see how it's typed in the name of the author as well as the year of the publisher and I could have put a page number in there let's say that I was quoting directly from the textbook and I had that in quotes I can go and cite that and let's say that that information was located on page 12 I click OK and now you can see that the author the year as well as the correct page number is all located there in my writing that's how easy it is to do and so when I'm all done writing my paper I can come down and type in bibliography and be ready to insert my bibliography wait till you see how easy this is so I click on the button to insert a bibliography and it's gone through my entire paper and using the proper format that I told it to use it has inserted a bibliography for me another great thing about Zotero is that it'll sync and save my information across all of my computers that I might use so if I'm on a library computer for example that information all gets saved there no matter what computer it is I'm using and the last thing I want to just mention quickly about Zotero is it gives me the ability to collaborate. I can have group libraries and share with other people who are Zotero members. That was how to make academic papers easier using Zotero.